What's up, Toast Shots? It's your girl, Toast and I am back with another motherfucking video for you today. You already know what it is, y'all. Happy ah, birthday. By the title, I'm doing me a hair man. Do 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 do. Got these hair masks from Diamond Beauty Supply. Um, they've been really hooking me up. Okay, they've been hooking me up since I dyed my hair. You know, I went there, got my hair dyed supplies, and I was telling them, you know, how I was scared, how I'm natural, all this stuff like that. So they just advised me this hair mask. This is actually just a sample because the hair mask itself is actually really expensive so they just gave me a few samples and told me to try it out and report back to them let me know how it is and let me know if i want to buy it so yeah i did not tell y'all i'm gonna be doing some product reviews today so i told y'all i was gonna be doing some product reviews so here we go like here we go my first product review here so we go this is go. african pride moisture miracle moroccan clay and shea butter detox and softening heat activated mask for natural coils and curls excited to try this okay my hair is pre-washed already as you guys can see i just really got to section it out so we can start doing this mask now because he activated i guess i need my um Blow dryer and such. First product review this hair mask. Ooh. I'm really excited to see how it does my hair because I had one hair mask before, and the last hair mask I had was Shea Moisture. It was actually really good. I loved it. It was the best ever. I did it like I'm gonna say two to three times in my hair. Um, over the course of me having it and my hair felt like life over the entire time. I'm also gonna cut my ends too right now. So yeah, about to get this hair together because I just took my wig, my wig on for about two weeks. Two weeks I have my wig on for. Um, I used Boho. That was definitely my first time using that. I loved it. I just got to make sure next time that I have my skin protector and my remover. That's my glue because I kind of messed up with that. So that's really why I didn't do a product review on that because I really didn't feel like that was to my best. That was my first try. Next time when I get my wig that's on the way, the mail. Definitely gonna shout it out for y'all. Y'all um, definitely gonna see what that's about. But before we get into this video, I just wanna rant for a second and let you guys know that I'm upset. Okay? Yesterday I paid $50 for these horrible ass nails. And the bitch gonna try to do like, okay, hold on. I paid $50 for the worst nails ever. On top of the fact that I was trying to explain to this woman what I wanted, how one of my nails, she just decided to do her own thing. She made them look horrible. They're so short. They're just so ugly. And I just... I so, I just want y'all to know, like, if y'all could just send me, like, $5 on cash up, like, in my nails or anything, I'll be fucking good because I don't understand why people want to fuck with my nails. I didn't even know anything. That shit. Nails only on Newtown Road, Virginia, Virginia. Don't go. Because they're not going to do your nails good. They're going to do what they want to do and not give you what the fuck you want. So, don't go there. Y'all, my shawties that's watching me at San Virginia, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Yeah, so guys, I got my hair section onto four sections and i'm just gonna start with my front right section so y'all can really get a good view of the mask as i'm putting it on my hair i always usually start with the back of my hair the rest of my hair to the front i'd be tired so i decided to get the back of my hair switch it about my back curls are like perfect so i decided to give the front of my hair a little bit of love because And I always be coming back to y'all with them good toad talks. And today, and today, my toast talk is about being accepted in your skin. Whether it's from your family or your friends or the people you love. Like, it's your atmosphere. Okay, guys, so today, my topic of my toast talk is going to be accepting yourself within yourself. Okay, because um, we live in a world where everything is changing, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
a lot more people are coming out the closet willingly as gays and trans and all the stuff like that and you know in the world that we live in it's it's accepted a lot more because of the, of the times that we're in you know what i'm saying it's a thing that's going on around the world it's not something that people um, are just doing i feel like when it comes to being accepted you never going to be accepted by no one if you don't accept yourself and i say this solely because like there's people out here that are trying out different things like whether you're a guy and you're gay and you're trying to do things differently as far as like wearing a wig or if you're a girl and you're gay and you're trying things out differently as far as wearing male clothing or if you are a trans and male or female and you're just trying out a different lifestyle and you are worried about trying that lifestyle out because you don't know how the people around you are gonna feel about it and um i just personally feel like if you don't accept yourself you know what i'm saying within the situation how do you how do you what do you expect from anyone around you like honestly like if you're scared to be yourself to yourself you know this is you trying this out will be your own personal experience with the situation if you're scared to try that wig on, to try those pants on, to try out this lifestyle, how do you expect anyone you love, meaning family, or like I said, partners or friends, to accept you for wanting to be who you are if you don't? Like, you know? I said, we live in a world where it's a lot easier nowadays to come out as a gay, straight, or trans, per a gay, trans, or, you know what I'm saying? Bisexual person, it's a lot easier these days to come out in these ways than it was years a lot of people need to understand that and take i want to say advantage but take heed of that you know it's like y'all have a chance to be able to speak up and speak out don't sit in the closet if you don't if you don't have to sit here no day this stuff smells so good like oh my god this mask smells so freaking good like oh my god this we, we gotta start being more open with ourselves before we try to be open with the world because for real for real, we really think about it the world ain't gonna do nothing they have no choice but to accept you for who you are you know what i'm saying it's like people can say oh i'm not gonna like her she do i'm not gonna like her she do this but they're not gonna stop checking up on you they're not gonna stop watching you they're not gonna stop oh let me see just let me just go check on her page and see baby if she did that yet you know like you worry about what people think you need to worry about what you think about yourself first you know like is this really what you want to do do you really want to put yourself in a situation are these things and steps that you really want to take some to people life? do impulse changes they feel trapped within the world that they're living in and the life that they're living so they impulse change i'm an impulse changer I'm scared just be just know like this is the change in your life that you want for yourself like don't do it for nobody else that's another thing too like some people make changes in their life for the wrong reason. And some people make changes in life for other people. Not good. Because if you're changing your life for someone else, how do you think you're gonna feel? Honestly, how how do you expect for you to feel? Like, if you're changing for your boyfriend, how do you expect to feel about change? It's not for you. It's very, people really gotta think about that. Like, is you change it for the better you, or is you change it for the better of someone else and their comfortability or their feelings? Always keep that in mind, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents, you know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. Like, am I really doing this because I want to do it, or am I doing it because I want them because they want me? Don't do it for that because then you're doing it for all the very, very wrong reasons. And then at that point, you're not like i said you're not doing stuff to make you happy you're doing stuff to keep those around you interested in you when it's really fucked in like they're not interested in you fuck them seriously if a person can't accept you for who you are what you like what you do how you dress how you talk anything like if a person can't accept you whether like i said whether it's friend family anything fuck them because honestly i'm gonna put it to you straight up and down like this Family is going to accept you regardless, whether you're family or not. Like, there's a lot of people 
Like, there's a lot of people out here that just own their kids and their family for being a certain type of way, which I will never under fucking stand because at the end of the day, that's their life. You know what I'm saying? That don't stop them from loving you no different as your family member. So, I would never understand how parents could just own their kids and being gay or disown a child for wanting to be trans or disown a kid for wanting to dress a certain type of way, like anything. Like, I just will never understand that and I will never do that to my kids. Like, my kids are going to be able to come to me and tell me anything and be anything they want to be because that's their life journey. Like, no, people live in denial ass boxes. So when shit does come out, when their kids come to them or something happens, they are so distraught and so gone and so hurt and just so um just taken aback by the whole situation. When it's like you see me signs, you know, and you didn't disown me when you thought I was a certain type of way. So why disown me when you find out that I'm a certain type of way that you already assumed in your own personal mental no. that I was. I just feel like if you want to be something or come out or do whatever you want to do, go ahead. But just don't, one, don't do it. How can I say this? Don't come out and be yourself if you're not ready. Okay? Don't know one pressure you do that because sometimes people are a certain type of way but they don't show that. And when they do decide to show it and they aren't ready, they can be pressured into changing themselves because they see the people around them, the atmosphere that they're in, ain't fucking with it. So they try to adjust don't do that. to the atmosphere. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it because I promise you everything I love, that will cause a lifetime of sadness and depression and feeling like not enough and feeling pointless and feeling worthless because you can't even be yourself. That's the worst feeling. Mm -hmm. Like I can honestly say, like the worst feeling ever is wanting to be yourself and not being able to be yourself. Period. Like it's the worst feeling because you want to be you, but you can't be you because you feel like people around you don't accept you. Fuck yeah. that. Fuck that shit. Like be yourselves. Like I don't give a fuck. If you a church kid and you go to church every Wednesday and every motherfucking Sunday. But in between time, in the meantime, you suck dick and you twerk. Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking K. As long as you know you true to the Lord and you make it to church every Sunday and every Wednesday, bitch, what's wrong with your life? What is you doing wrong? You still honoring the most high at the same time living your best life, knowing that God created you the way he wanted you to be fucking made and he's going to accept you for who you are. That's what people fail to realize. Y'all so worried about this person, that person, bro. The only person, the opinion that's gonna fucking matter is the man upstairs and the nigga that's gonna let us either stay upstairs with him or put us downstairs. And there's no other way to put that up or down. Like people always like look at me differently because of how I see religion and all this stuff like that. Like I not gonna put myself in a uh uh um. What's the word? I was about to say racial. <laughs> a religion box. I'm not. I know there's a guy. I believe in him. I love him. I wish him him. But I just don't do it in no special kind of way. Like Christians or Muslims or Buddhists. Like I don't do it in no special type of way. Because I feel like when you do it like that. You're put in a box. And that's where those. Oh you can't do this. You can't do that. Or you can't live this way. You can't live that way. Are you Like Why? Why? Why so many Christian boys are gay as fuck and are scared to come out because they don't want to be disowned by their parents. Your parents is going to disown you, but the Lord won't. Like, I don't understand. Y'all are so worried about coming out and being disowned by your families and not being loved and not being cared for. Like, one, if your mother or father can literally stop talking to you because you're sexual orientation bitch you need new parents because first of all they raised you so half of whatever the fuck you got going on is from something you've been around in your life with your parents and that's another thing parents don't understand like parents make it very very hard for kids to come and be themselves but at the same time parents want kids to come to them and be open with them and speak to them and let them know what's going on in their lives 
how they feeling, what they thinking about, who they thinking about, like, but y'all don't, people put things that I thing. promise y'all, like, by the time I have kids, I'll probably be more spiritually, um, stable, like, I will know what I want to do with, as far as, like, I said, like, religion and all stuff like that, and, um, my religion got to be my religion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't plan on raising my kids under no one else's standards. I don't plan on um, living my household off of nobody's book. Or how I treat my kids. Or how I run my family off of nobody's book. I don't. And so, boom. The Bible. Love the Bible. Love the Lord. Love it all. But... It's just certain things about like the Christian lifestyle that I don't agree with, such as um, just like certain things. Like um, in the Bible says you should put your husband before your kids and all the stuff like that. Excuse me, wait, no, sorry, not doing that. Like, oh, the Lord says my the Lord says my husband should. 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 My husband should. The Lord said, bitch, no. That's your child. Like, I don't care. Fuck that nigga. Real ass bitch give a fuck about a nigga. Like, do you hear me? Real ass mom give a fuck about my children. How about that? Like, fuck that shit. Like, ain't no the Lord says man should come before my kid. Ain't no man coming before my child except for the lord himself now when it comes to jesus of course he's he's most high he's first of course of course of course of course but anybody else fuck you fuck you how christians have to live a certain type of way like some christians have to dress a certain type of way my gosh like it's just so many restrictions i feel like religion is a form of control and that's why i wouldn't say i'm against it but i'm definitely not for it like period like it has nothing to do with sexual orientation it has nothing to do with none of that it's just like personal beliefs and like i just feel like certain things in life were created to control people when you really think about back in the day like they used you know what I'm saying? Christianity and stuff like that to control people, especially the slaves. Like, we couldn't do certain things because the Bible says so. And it's like, we're humans. We should be able to live and do as we please because at the end of the day, God's going to judge us all. And it's his decision. So it's like, why not make all your life's choices and your life decisions upon you, not upon what books? A lot of people, like I said, uh, I'm not going to like this video or what I'm saying because it's not a Christian topic. But um, back to my main topic. Like I said, just being comfortable within yourself. As long as you are comfortable within your you, I feel like everything comes. It just comes. Like, for instance, my best friend Justin. When I met him, I wouldn't say he wasn't comfortable with himself, but he wasn't comfortable with himself. He wasn't. He was happy, but he was settling for the life that he thought no. he had because he family very religious go to church every day this and third this and third but like i said in the meantime between time he lives his life and i feel like my best friend needed to understand that it was okay to still go to church be a singer choir singer all that shit but just know outside of them doors you get to be you because you're keeping your part of the bargain as far as your religion goes you go you show your faith you're true to who you are you're true to what you love you're true to your family you're true to the lord period and you get to be who you want in the meantime in between time and my best friend i feel like my best friend didn't understand that and when we met you're i helped him out baby you could still be and do whoever whatever you want just know on that sunday all your faith goes to him and it's just that guy so it's been about 15 yeah. minutes and you're gonna be rude like that you're gonna be rude about myself mm -hmm. so say hey everybody i'm here because i'm not don't let my auntie film without making noise so hey guys okay so it's been about 15 minutes since i uh i had dry my hair for about 15 minutes ah. under the uh -huh. What else? I'm going to have 15 minutes under the cap. It feels so soft. Like, my hair is so... You see her copying me? 
<laughs> my hair is so soft y'all like oh yeah it's so soft girl so i'm about to um i think i want to just rinse my hair out in these twists because i don't feel like detangling my hair at the moment so i'm just gonna rinse my hair out in the twist and then i will be right back with the product of my hair being finished okay thank you goodbye Qua -qua. I just, i'm back I have rinsed out the mask and bitch my hair feels like a motherfucking clown. Okay. My hair is so soft. So what I'm what I use I'm about to do is I usually just put my hair in two strand twists. So I'm just gonna clip literally my end. That's it. That's all I take off when I clip my ends. Because I feel like you know I don't wanna take too much and then be in my feelings about how much hair I'm cutting off. So I just snip. Every time I do a mask in my hair, I like to just snip it to give it that fresh bounce, bounce, bitch look. I'm definitely taking off like the end of my hair here. I'm very depressed about it, but it's okay because it's for the dweeter dude. And all the pieces that I'm cutting off have like, like, look at that. Lit. So yeah, I took my twist out and um yes, look at this. Like it is just so defined and it's just so nice. And I love it. I am so happy right now with the outcome of this mask on my hair. Like I didn't think that it was gonna come out this good. Like I even cut my ends. Let me grab them up for y'all. So y'all can see what I mean by cut my ends. When I cut my ends, I literally cut my ends. I don't cut none of my length off. I take off what needs to be taken off. And yeah, that's literally all the ends I cut off. And my hair feels amazing. It looks even more amazing than it feels like, bruh. It is like so flowy and it's so soft. Like, yo, there's no product in my hair right now. My curls are already defined. I'm like into it right now like look at that i'm into it i'm into it okay i'm just in love with this whole situation like please look girl your auntie hell is a cloud girl whole time she's not worried about me but thank you guys so much for watching the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe also follow me on instagram at the toad oh. and it's t-h-e what the heck T H E dot T O J. Y'all already know this. I follow back. Y'all, I'm loving my hair. I might just put some oil in it and probably just like lift it up like this. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Goodbye.